G'day One Watt Fly Squad, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. And as you can tell, I'm at Doha Airport. I just landed on a flight from Hong Kong. You can find the link for that trip report in the description down below. And now I'm gonna fly Qatar Airways again from Doha to London Heathrow on QR3 and A380. And before that, I'm gonna check out the Silver Lounge for One Watt Sapphire members in economy class. Let's go. Hama International Airport opened in 2014 to replace the older Doha Airport. Just like Hong Kong Chilap Kok, it has one massive terminal that has people mover that connects you between the gates. Qatar Airways has two business class grade lounges here at Hama Airport. One is the Al Majan Lounge for people who are actually flying in business class. I'm at the business class lounge which is catered for those who are One World Sapphire members like myself. It's not as fancy as the Al Majan and for both lounges you can pay for entry. It's 450 Qatari Riel for the Al Majan, 250 Qatari Riel for the business class lounge. In this lounge you've got everything that you need and expect from a business class lounge like buffet, comfortable seatings, coffee and tea, a good selection of other beverages, however there's no barista made coffee or a bar. It's getting a bit quiet now because most red-eye flights have already departed. The next departure rush would be around 6 in the morning. My flight to London Heathrow leaves at 6 as well. There are no specific shower rooms in the lounge, but you'll find some shower cubicle in the toilet. There's always a staff stationed in the toilet, so they'll clean up right after you. And the person after will always have a clean cubicle. I like the fact that there's a shower head on the ceiling. Note that there's no toilet or basin in this cubicle. We have three cute little coat hooks. For the rest of my stay in the lounge, I decided to chill and relax in the family room area. I was the only person here, so it's good in a way that I wouldn't annoy people if I decided to pick up a phone call. And it's a bit more private here as well. You've got some limited apron view here. That's a delayed a380 service to London Heathrow. Hours later it's time to leave and board my flight to London Heathrow. Doha Airport gives out a really big shopping mall vibe. You have people everywhere, shops everywhere, cafes as well. Went out at a boarding gate for London Heathrow. Here the staff will check your passport and your boarding pass and then you'll be at the waiting area. You're also subject to a secondary security check here. So here's our aircraft to Heathrow today, a 5 year old Cut Airways Airbus A380 Alpha 7 Alpha Papa Hotel. I'm really happy and excited that I'm flying Qatar A380 because when the pandemic started I thought they're gone for good. The actual boarding process starts at half an hour later and it was chaotic. I'll explain that later. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome on board Qatar A380. Qatar A380 has six economy class cabins, two upstairs and four downstairs. My seat today is 49k in the first cabin downstairs. According to Seat Guru, every seat is about 18 inches wide and your seat pitch or legroom is about 32 inches. I'll go through the seat features with you now, so you've got a TV and a USB port, a tiny little cut hook and a TV remote. The tray table can be folded in half and move it back and forth. It also looks clean. You've got seat pockets here. Leg room here is enormous, it's definitely more than 32 inches. With the headrest, you can only move it back and forth. The sides are fixed. Underneath the seats, you'll find a universal power socket. Uh, our award-winning team 
Our flight after today is going to be for uh, yeah, 6 hours and 15 minutes and we'll be closing at an altitude of 40,000 feet. We are expecting to really good weather on board, however we may experience uh, some flight turbulence after departure and during the flight. For your safety, please keep your uh, seatbelt fastened at all times, even when the seatbelt sign has switched off. May we remind you that uh, for the safety of all customers, you are required to wear your face mask during your entire journey. Uh, before we begin our descent into Heathrow, I'll update you with the latest weather and arrival information. Until then, please uh, make yourself comfortable and enjoy our world class service. I wish you a very pleasant uh, journey on this Qatar uh, Airways flight now. Thank you. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the Qatar Airways flight. Welcome to the Qatar Airways flight. أنا نادر امتياز هو برنامج مكافآة لحضرات المسافرين على متن الخطوط الجوية القطرية Ladies and gentlemen, if you're wearing a face shield or a face mask due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, kindly ensure that you remove your face shield and your face mask prior to putting on the drop-down oxygen mask during a decompression. Thank you.
So here's a travel kit, which the cabin crew handed out just before we took off. So you've got COVID safety stuff like a face mask, a pair of gloves, hand sanitizer and some wipes. Shortly after we took off from Doha, the cabin crew commenced the breakfast service. Go through uh, scrambling egg, chicken sausage, the ratatouille, the vegetables and rice. Uh, the scrambled eggs, please. Scrambled eggs. Probably due to COVID-19, Cat Airways doesn't hand out paper menus in economy class, but the cabin crew would patiently let you know what your options are. Today I went for the Western breakfast option. The meal also comes with a bread roll, a mousse, fruits and a bottle of water. Drink selections including alcoholic beverages are available. Today I just went for a tea with milk. Now let's do some taste tests. I got a chicken sausage. Really, really good and juicy. Now let's try the mousse. Likewise, really, really delicious. Overall, I had a very pleasant meal. This was probably one of the best dessert I've ever had in economy class. Hello there, welcome to beautiful Qatar Airways Airbus 380 economy class lavatory in the lower deck. Uh, pretty spacious here and very beautiful touches like We've got some wooden materials here and uh, perfume. We've got another mirror here and then a cookbook. Let's sit down and have a look. The floor's also um, not boring as well. Pretty good. The cabin crew soon came back to the aisle to collect meal trays and offer us more drinks. I went for another cup of tea and they also gave me a waffle. I really like how Qatar Airways give out a waffle along with coffee and tea orders. I didn't like the fixed headrest, so I slouched a bit and slept. You can go through your TV content including movie selection on your TV remote. Vaccinated or do not meet the eligibility criteria, you must self-isolate for 10 days and take tests on the second day and eighth day after you arrive. If you have been in any countries on the red list within the previous 10 days, you must quarantine in a managed quarantine facility for 10 days. Symptoms of coronavirus are a new continuous cough, a high temperature or a loss of or change in normal sense of taste or smell. If you experience any of these symptoms, however mild, you're advised to make yourself known to the cabin crew. Please follow the public health guidance for the area you're living or traveling in. Please visit gov.uk slash coronavirus for more advice. Thank you. So the baby and the announcement woke me up. I believe I would have just missed a meal service, which would have been just a pastry. We have now begun our descent into London Heathrow. So let's quickly conclude this trip report with Cut Highways right here, right now. So our journey today began at Doha Hamad Airport. The airport was massive with lots of shops and duty free and it was hard to capture everything on my iPhone. With my one watt sapphire status, I was given access to the business class lounge, which was really basic. I would have appreciated if they had barista made coffee and a dedicated shower room, not in the toilet. The boarding gate opened around an hour and a half before the departure time. It got really congested because our A380 was a relatively full flight. While we were waiting in the waiting area, someone came around to do random document checks. The staff member was basically looking for our vaccination certificate and a passenger locator form for the UK. Finally, when we get to board the plane, it was chaotic. Boarding was done by zone numbers and people didn't know what zones they were. They jammed the boarding area. You couldn't really tell which one is the line and a lot of people jumped the queue. Eventually I was one of the first to let through because I got a one watt sapphire status which allowed me priority boarding and I really appreciate the staff for allowing me to do so. Once on board we received a warm welcome from a cabin crew and I immediately noticed how spacious and clean the economy cabin is. Not just the cabin itself but the lavatory, the waiting area outside the lavatories, the galleys, they were all spotless. The meal was also really delicious, I particularly liked that dessert. 
After that I slept for about 3 hours, it was one of the best sleep I've had in the plane, especially in economy class, leg room was fantastic, recline was generous, and everything on board just felt right and perfect. The only one little thing I didn't like was that fixed headrest on the side, I've gotten neck pain from that before. But overall, a really really pleasant flight, I would absolutely fly Qatar A380 again. For your information, I paid 2,390 Hong Kong dollars for this one-way journey from Hong Kong to Doha to London Heathrow. So that's it for the conclusion today, thank you so much for watching my Qatar Airways A380 trip report, and again if you're interested in watching my trip report from Hong Kong to Doha, the link is in the description down below, go check that out. If you're new to my channel, I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. That's Thursday 4am in the UK, 7am in Qatar. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so every time I upload on Thursday, you will get notified and you won't miss out. It's nice to see the Big Ben once again after its restoration for a few years. You can also follow me and add me on Snapchat, Facebook and Instagram for regular updates about my trips. You can also become a member of mine on Patreon and YouTube directly. If you prefer one-off payment, you can do PayPal me. Now enjoy the approach and landing into London Heathrow and after that I'll show you a London stop over vlog. Thanks and see you there.
سيد سيدتي الحمد لله على سلامتكم وعلى سلام بكم في المملكة المتحدة حتى الطيارة بحمد لله بمطار لندن هيثرو تيرمينال 5 الدولي حيث يشير التوقيت المحلي هنا إلى خمس دقائق بعد منتصف الظهر ودرجة الحرارة الخارجية من أجل سلامتكم ورجاء من حضراتكم البقاء جالسين في مقاعدكم مع إبقاء الأحزمة مربوطة إلى أن تتوقف الطيارة نهائيا وتنطفي إشارة ربط أحزمة المقاعد أرجع الانتباه أن يمنع التدخين إلى في الأماكن المخصصة لذلك في المطار يرجى التأكد من أخذ جميع أمتعتكم قبل مغادرة الطائرة يرجى العلم أن يمكنكم الآن استخدام هواتفكم النقالة إن أردتم ذلك نأمل أن تكون الخطوط الجوية القطرية ضمن مخطط رحلاتكم المستقبلية إلى أكثر من 150 وجهة لدينا حول العالم للحجز والاستفسار الرجاء زيارة موقعنا على الإنترنت قطرالويز.com من يابع الخطوط الجوية القطرية تحالف العالم الواحد وان وورلد قائد الطائرة كابتن خالد كوتشي بريتش ايرويز وبقية افراد الطاقم نشكركم لاختياركم السفر على متن الخطوط الجوية القطرية نتمنى لكم اقامة ممتعة في لندن واذا كنتم واصلين رحلاتكم الى وجهات اخرى فنحن نتمنى لكم رحلة امنة وممتعة الخطوط الجوية القطرية معنى لكل مكان شكرا وطاب نهاركم دمتم دائما بالف خير سيدتي سادتي نرجو من حضراتكم الابقاء على المسافة الامنة والتباعد الجسدي من الاخرين وارتداء كمامة الوجه عند النزول من الطائرة وحتى الوصول الى مبنى المطار وشكرا Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to United Kingdom. We have just landed at London Heathrow International Airport Terminal 5. With the local time now is 5 minutes past it of 12 in the afternoon and the outside air temperature is 2 degrees Celsius. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has completely stopped and the seatbelt sign is switched off. Please take care when opening overhead storage compartments and ensure that you have all your personal belongings and travel documents with you as you disembark this aircraft. Remember that smoking is only permitted until you are within a designated smoking area. Thank you for choosing to fly with Qatar Airways and the One World Alliance. It has been our absolute pleasure taking care of you today. Qatar Airways, going places together. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to ensure your safety and exercise physical distancing, we will be disembarking this aircraft by row. We ask that you remain seated until the row ahead of you has vacated. We would also like to remind you to wear your facial mask while disembarking this aircraft and until you have reached your final destination. Thank you. Hold on, transit is departing. Next stop, arrivals, baggage replay, and flight connections or terminals. Welcome to my hotel room here in London Heathrow Airport. I'm flying out tomorrow morning, so I just figured out it's easier if I stay at the airport tonight. Let me show you the room quickly. So here's the lavatory, unfortunately, without the bathtub. Crabtree products, pretty good. Same as Australia. And then you've got a fancy looking coffee machine. Uh, mini bar. I think they charge you automatically, those ones. Like when you pick up your chocolate bar, they'll charge it to your account immediately. I think this is the fridge, probably. How do I? There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there already. The TV, a uh, king sized bed, 
and the view overlooking the hotel itself. So my, uh, so my plan for today is to go to Windsor Castle, going to visit the beautiful castle, going to shop around there and then um, going to come back and chill and then fly out tomorrow to Australia. It's so cold! <sighs> I'm in Windsor now, just trying to find my way to the entrance of the castle. Oh my god, it's closed. I'm devastated. So I just went to Marks and Spencer to get some food to bring back to Australia. And then now I'm going to check out Boots. So I bought a lot as you can see, and now I just got a chai latte from Starbucks. I'm gonna wait until my bus leaves for Heathrow in about half an hour. So for dinner, I had it in the executive lounge in the hotel. The Samrex cabin crew checking in the hotel. Morning, it's 6 a.m. and today we're flying to Sydney via Frankfurt and Tokyo. I'm ready to go by London. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.